there because of the possibility, the possibility he might have sex with another student. Quote, the school knows that no child can be assumed to always make responsible decisions which affect the well-being of others. It goes on. The school believes it has made the correct assessment of the risks of transmission of HIV in this setting and has not violated the law because this student would pose a direct threat to the health and safety of other students. Keep in mind, though, that presumes an awful lot. It presumes that a 13-year-old would even have sex. And then it presumes that sex would be unprotected. And then it presumes that this unprotected sex would result in transmission of the virus, even though the drugs that he's taking makes that more than 95% impossible. In the words of Art Kaplan, the leading expert on ethics and medicine, quote, you've got to be kidding me. In a moment, our own experts weigh in. First, though, what the Hershey School has to say, because whatever you think of their decision, they're being very straightforward about defending it. And joining me now is Connie McNamara, spokeswoman for the Milton Hershey School. Ms. McNamara, why has your school decided to deny admission to this HIV-positive young man? Well, Anderson, I think um, first I I'd like you and, and your viewers to understand what the Milton Hershey School is. It is not a typical day school. Kids don't come in at 8 and leave at 3. We are a home-like residential school. Children live in student homes with 10 to 12 other students. They're here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, throughout the calendar year. Uh, we serve from pre-K to 12th grade, uh, students who have a very diverse population. Um, and we're a home for these students. We're a home when they're with us, and we have a parental responsibility. So why and can't so an HIV-positive 13-year-old live in a home, go to the school? Because we had to balance the interests. We looked at everything and we believe uh, that we made the right decision. We believe that in this case, because this student has an active, chronic, communicable disease, that rises to the level that it poses a direct threat to the health and safety of the other 2,000 students we serve. How? We have to balance the interests. How? Um, all, all of us are there because we want to help children. There How is it a direct threat? Issues. There are a number of issues, uh, but the key issue for us comes down to sexual activity. We know that teenagers nationwide